want to tell you thank you for being so good. Thank you, sir, for another chance to praise your holy name. Thank you, Jill. You woke us up early this morning and started us on our way. Thank you, Jesus, for life. Thank you, Jesus, for a reasonable portion of strength. Thank you, Jesus, because you didn't have to do it. But I'm so glad that you did. Thank you, Jesus. When I opened my eyes, I could see this morning. Thank you, Jesus. When we went to move our limbs, we could move our limbs this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Nobody had to dress us this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Nobody had to drive us to church this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Food was on the table. Thank you, Jesus. Clothes on our back. Thank you, Jesus, for shoes on our feet. Thank you, Jesus, for somewhere to live this morning. Thank you, Jesus, for jobs this morning. Thank you, Jesus. We might not have what we want in our bank account, but there's money in there. Thank you, Jesus, for being a bill payer. Thank you, Jesus, for being a heavy load sharer. Thank you, Jesus, for being a burden bearer. Thank you, Jesus, for mending broken hearts. Thank you, Jesus, for drying tears this morning. Thank you, Jesus, for being a healer this morning. Thank you, Jill, for you a way maker. Thank you, Jill, for God, we know that you are the one that can calm any storm. Thank you, Jill, for being our peace this morning. Thank you, Jill, for you the King of kings, Lord of lords. Thank you, Jill, you've been our friend. Thank you, Jill, you've been mama. Thank you, Jill, you've been dead. Thank you, Jesus, for everything that you've done. Thank you, Jesus. We know we don't deserve it, but we say thank you, Jesus. Not only do you give us the things that we need, but God, you mess around and give us what we want. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You've been real good. You've been good. You've been good. Thank you, God. It had been easy, but you've been good. Wanted to give up, but you've been good. Storms may rise, winds may blow, but you're still good. You're still good. You're good. 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 Sweeter than a honeycomb. Oh, taste and see that the Lord. Thank you, thank you, we can't thank you enough for all you've done, you've been a keeper, we tell you thank you, you kept your arms around us, we tell you thank you, COVID didn't take us out, we tell you thank you, everything is still intact, we say thank you, thank you for our families, thank you for this church, thank you for Pastor Walker, thank you sir. Thank you, Lord, for what you're in the midst of doing. Thank you, Lord, for what you're about to do. And most of all, thank you for what you've already done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can't thank you enough. Can't nobody do us like Jesus. Can't nobody do us like the Lord. We tell you thank you. We don't take it for granted. We don't take it for granted, oh God, that you didn't have to do it. But because of your grace and mercy, you still, you still, you still bless us. And we're forever grateful. And we give your name the praise, the glory, and the honor. For God, you deserve it. For every mountain that you brought us over. For every valley that you brought us under God for this and for that we give you praise 
Or you said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men. And you're still drawing. And God, we thank you for this service. Let us go even higher. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on thank us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes, God. Amen. And amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Yes, God. Yes.
together and bless God in this place. If you were, if you know it was nobody but God that healed your body, it was nobody but God that won your case. Amen, amen. Today's reading will be coming from Psalms 100. And it reads, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastures. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and enter into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good. I said, for the Lord is good. And his mercy is everlasting. And his truth endures to all generations. Tabernacle members and all of our viewers. While the Sunday School passcode for access via computer remains the same, TMBC SS615, the passcode for access via phone has changed to 572-422-113. That's 572-422-113. Pastor Walker and the birthday ministry wish all members and friends born in the month of August a happy birthday. Our annual legacy campaign is underway. We solicit your financial support by asking each member to give $300 and $200 per auxiliary for church improvements and maintenance. If you would like to pay in installments, the first installment is due and the second installment is due by the third Sunday in September. Please remember to put Legacy Campaign on your form of payment and thank you for your cooperation. Bible study will be held on the TMBC prayer line every Tuesday at 7 p.m. only. The prayer line number is 712-432-0075 and the access code is 110782. Please contact the church office when a loved one passes away to ensure the church and Pastor Walker are aware. You may leave a voicemail message and your call will be acknowledged. Please do not assume the church has been informed. The Walk of Faith broadcast is on the Christian Television Network and airs every Thursday and Sunday at 6.30 p.m. on Basic Cable Channel 45. CenturyLink Channel 45 and Xfinity Channel 239. The deadline to have your announcement included in the video presentation is 5 o'clock p.m. on the Wednesday before the Sunday you want your announcement read. Send all approved announcements to announce it at TMBC at yahoo.com. That's announce it at TMBC at yahoo.com. Please include Reverend Whitfield on all announcements by sending a copy to Pastor Whitfield 06 at yahoo.com. That's Pastor Whitfield 06 at yahoo.com. Thank you for your attention. This concludes our announcements for today. Please stay safe by washing your hands, using hand sanitizer, and wearing face masks. Pray for one another, including our sick and shut-in members and bereaved members. Remember, much prayer, much power.
head bowed, every eye closed. Lord, give us preaching power now to make preaching easy and the preach word believable. And let the words of our mouth and the very meditations of our heart be acceptable in thy sight, for truly you are our strength and our redeemer. Let every believer says amen. Let's join in. Can we find? Can we find? Find a friend. Have your Bibles. You have your Bibles. Isaiah 49. Isaiah 49. Isaiah 49. We ask you continue to pray much for our country, our world. As we continue to face these difficult times in which we, we live, families that have been affected by this virus, have lost loved ones, people who are still in hospitals and nursing homes. We have a lot of hurting people in this world and across this country. And even in our immediately circle, a lot of people are hurting. And I believe that the prayers of the saints goes a long way with God. So let's keep them in our prayers and pray much for every pastor, every church. For these are difficult times and it is because it is a testing of our of our faith. And those who are faithful to God and the Bible says, be thou faithful unto death. So you need to check your faithfulness out to God. Are you still faithful to God in your giving? In your reading of scripture, in your prayer life? Are you faithful, faithful to God? Because believe me, church, 
Payday is coming after a while. We will, all of us will have to stand before the judgment seat of God and get those deeds counted. And if you stand before God, you want to be able to hear him say that day, serving a God, well done. Just for a few minutes, pray with me. Isaiah 49 and, and verse 16, it reads this. See, I have graven you on the palms of my hand. Your walls are continually before me. Once again, I have graven you on the palms of my hand. Another translation reads it, I have engraved, engraved your name on the palm of my hands. Your walls are continually before me. Just for a few minutes, if you let that passage of scripture hang on the line of your mind and let the Holy Ghost blow on it. As we use that passage of scripture to walk down to the room of our thinking just for a, a few minutes. And I pray that this word will bless you as much as it has blessed me. During the course of this week, on my own praying ground and my own private devotion and meditation as I tried to investigate and exegete this passage of scripture in my own theological under the gumption of the Holy Spirit. Read it and reread it again. And I want to talk about it from this subject. God knows our, our name. Just, just simple. God knows your name, my name. God knows our, our name. There's a song that hit the gospel airwave. And every now and then, our own DJ apostle, who you see up here, plays it. It's entitled, He Knows My, My Name. The artist skips my mind. But the words of that text, of that song, says, He walks with me. He talks with me. And he tells me, I am, Lord have mercy, his own. Such words expresses a personal and intimate relationship that God has with us. Again, those words 
of that song that entitled God Knows My Name expresses a personal, intimate relationship that God has with us. This, this text is one of many verses that reminds us God's love towards us and God's relationship with us. It's a reminder of the God we serve has a personal relationship with us, that he's a personal, I like that, God. Let me say it again. I just like saying it. That God is a personal, God. He's not detached mm -mm, from us as many times we feel that God has left us or has abandoned us. But this text reminds us that he's a personal God. God is not distant from us. Scripture teaches if we draw near to him, in return he will draw near to us. He's a personal, personal God. Not a figmentation of our imagination. God is very much real. He walks with us. He talks with us. Matter of fact, matter of fact, this text goes so far as to remind us how personal God is with us. That God himself, Lord have mercy, have graven, yeah, our name in the palm of his hand. God Almighty. God hmm, is so personal that he has graven your name, my name, our name in the palm of his hand. I'm glad I have my friend Manning with me today, Manning. What a blessing. What, what a blessing. For us to know as a child of God 
that we are locked in to something greater than our mind can apprehend or comprehend the God, watch this, of this universe. Yeah. Thought so much of us that he has placed our name I feel your Holy Ghost. In the palm of his hand. God Almighty. God Almighty. Place our name in the palm of his hand. The text says, I have engraven you. Yeah. I have engraven you. That's what it says. In the palm of my hand. Let me see, can I help you? Now, 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 what? What this text is teaching us is that, is that God himself, yeah, it's God talking, God himself took on the initiative. To place or engrave. That's how much he loves us. He, 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 he took the initiative to engrave our name in the palm of his hand. Now, 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 we live in a society now uh, that they call body art. You know, that tattoos. You know, they, they, they got them all on your, all on the arm, leg, everywhere, on, even on the face, you know. That, that's kind of society we live in. Called, called body art. And my son, he got them all over him. And I asked him one day, I said, but why you got on them tattoos? He said, every tattoo daddy has a symbol of something significant that has happened in my life. And I started pointing out what that means. He started telling me. What that mean? He started telling me. Everything, it, it symbolizes something significant. What the point is, the point is that God have engraven, which means that we are significant to God. That's why I tell young people, and I need to tell some of us old people as well, that's why you don't allow the devil to sweat you. And make the devil use people to make you feel less than. Because the next time that the devil uses somebody to make you feel less than who you are, you need to tell the devil, I got too much word in me for you to sweat me now because I heard what the prophet Isaiah said that I am important woo, to God because God has engraved hey 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 has engraven my name my name 
my name in the palm of his hand. You may not never ever make the hall of fame. You may not put your name in some, in some, in some home. But one thing you do know, your name who is in. Hey! It's in God's, God's, God's hand. I'm about finished. I mean, God to Isaiah to pen these words. The Israelites, God's chosen people, were, they were suffering in exile in Babylon. And they felt because they was in exile that God had forgotten them. And God said to Isaac, tell my people, remind them that I haven't forgotten Pen these words. Here it is. Pen them, Isaiah. I have graven you on the palm of my hand. Now, now, these words in this 16 verse mm -hmm, need our consideration. These words are worth investigating to see how this verse 16 how we can apply it to our walk with the Lord. Yeah. We ought to, by now, you know, you know what bothers me? People are always talking about how long they've been in the church. So what? You know, you know they, they brag. I've been in the church, and I've been in the church, and I've been on the usher board, I've been on the deacon board, I've been, so what? That, 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 you, do you really think that matters with God how long your name been on a church roll or what position that you hold or what you do in a, what matters to God is are you growing? How are you coming along with your walk in life? By, by January up until now there ought to have been some changes in your life. Some ought to have taken place that people can see some Christ I feel your Holy Ghost see some Christ in your life so 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 this text consider our investigation now watch this it says, in verse 16, it says, I have graven you, mm -hmm. yeah, in the palms of my hand, yeah, hands, 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 God says, Graving you in my hands. That's a metaphor. We know God is a spirit, but this is a metaphor of a reference to God's sovereignty power. But God says, God says, you are in my hands. Now, when you look at hands, yeah, 
hands are very useful. Yeah, they they are they are one part of the body that expresses love towards each other. Yeah. We we put our hands on shoulders to show affection. We we shake hands to greet one another. Yeah. Some of y'all still in still about holding hands that demonstrate demonstrate love. In other words, hands are useful because watch this, don't miss this point. Don't miss this revelation. Hands are always before us. Y'all missed it. Our hands are useful. They're always before us. I don't care where you put them up, down, side. They're always before us. And God is saying to us, yeah, your name is in my hand which means that you are always before him here's the point we are never ever ever never never ever ever never forgotten by God now you, you need to write that down that we are never Forgotten by God. How, 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 how can God forget us when our name is always before him and it reminds him of us? During this pandemic, it's been rough. During this pandemic, it's been rough. Don't let nobody fool you. There have been times we felt by ourselves, felt all alone, felt like Lone Ranger without Tonto, Batman without Robin, felt by ourselves. A person not long ago told me, yes, he says, he says, he said, preacher, he says, I was quarantined for five weeks. He said, that's the worst time in all of my life. He said, I feel alone by myself. He said, that loneliness was my only companion. Nobody turned my doorknob. My doorbell didn't ring. Family and friends playing it safe wouldn't stop by. I fell by myself. And may I say this, time alone with experience and I'm not talking about what Big Mama said. I'm not talking about what my pastor said. I'm talking about what SL have experienced on life journey. There will come a time that life will place you in isolation. You will feel all alone. But thank God for Isaiah that penned it these words and the words he penned it was God says how can I forget you when your name is in the poem 
of my hand. My name, S.L. Manning, Puzzle, our name, Chris, Shal, our name, is in the palm of his, his hand. Might be alone, mm -hmm. but never forgot. Can I add a little footnote to that one? Add a footnote. I don't know what y'all used to do in, here in Florida, but in my native state, native state of South Carolina, what we used to do, the boys used to do coming up, anytime that we found somebody that we was interested in. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, you know. Yeah, interested in. To make them feel significant and important. What we would do is take their name and phone number and write it in the palm of our hand. Now, every name, every phone number wouldn't go in the palm of your hand. Nah. It was just somebody that was interested in us, and we were interested, and then we were right in the palm of our hand. What you, what's your point, Reverend? I'm glad you asked. The point is that God has our best interest at heart. And that's why God said, because I know everything about you, everything, your name represents everything about you, everything that concerns you. God says everything about you, everything that concerns you, I have written, I have engraved it. Hey! In the palm of well, my hand. That's why ain't nothing, no accident. Trains have accident. Huh? Bus have wrecks, but God said everything have happened in your life. Misfortune, mishap have been written in my palm, have been engraved in the palm of my Let me wait, let me, let me rush, let me rush, let me rush. Watch this. It says, um, I have engraven. You in the palm of my hand. Read it again, Walker. I have engraven you in the palm of my hand. It did not say, I have written you. Nah, nah, nah. I have, I have graven you. You know, when you write stuff in a long period of time, it fades. Yeah. I got stuff in my sermon arcade. I can't read. Is handwritten. Words are fading. Paper are ragged. Some words have been erased off. God said, No, 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 no. I have graven. You underline the word graven. And when you look it up, it means this. It cannot, I like that, be removed. Now, now, graven, it, it, it means it cannot, it, it, it cannot be removed. It cannot be erased. Time can't wear it off. Now, huh? Uh, now, 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 it's been graven. Time can't fade it. 
is being grave means permanent. It's permanent. It's permanent. God says you have permanent status with me. Now, I, I, I don't know about you, but that, that, that blessed me when God says, walk up. Your SM is permanent. Because how many times have we sinned against God? How, 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 how many times have we fallen short? the glory of God. How, how, how many times have we choose our will over God's will? How, how many times have we been trifling and disobedient, unfaithful, uncommitted to God and God says all that you have done, God says I have not Erase nor remove your name. My name. Your name. Our name. From the palm of his hand. You know, we're we not like that. You know, we make up our wedding list. Mm -hmm. And you cut the food before the wedding, your name off. Can I get an amen? I know y'all want to say amen. No, we, 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 we'll scratch your name off in a minute. I don't care what we have said or done. Your name is off the list. But God says your name is permanent. I don't know about you, but, but I thank God I have a permanent status with God through Jesus Christ our Lord that Paul says life nor death things to come huh things present can never separate us wow how how from the love of God in Christ Christ Jesus I'm out of here now God says you never, ever be forgotten. God says you got permanent status with me. Your name have been engraven in my hands. Might belong but never forgotten because your name is always before me. Anybody want to get happy with me? I mean, show sure enough happy. Matter of fact, when God gave me this revelation, I just laid aside everything and walked through the house. Start giving God praise. Because this has been a tough time for SL. Dealing with people and dealing with my own personal life. The road have not been easy. Every now and then I ask God, where are you trying to take? But God showed me something last week. He said this. He said, Walker, let me show you something. He says, the last point, your name is in, in my name. Help me, Holy Ghost. This text reminds us that we have the blessed, the blessed assurance that we are in the hand, the hand of God. In times like these, there is no better place for any a 
of us than to be in the hand of, of God. I wish I had somebody to testify with me can say what I'm bound ready to say. Thank God I'm in your hand. Can I get a witness? I remember when I got ready to go to school off to college. My daddy liked to tell his old army stories and he sat down and told me just before I left home one of his old army stories he said to me we was out on the sea caught in a battle the wind was blowing lightning was flashing I didn't know whether or not we was going to make it back to shore but all I could think about that this ship is in God's hand and when the ship got on shore God said it's in my hand my daddy said to me that remember whatever you do you are in God's hand I'm so glad can I get some Holy Ghost cheerleader I'm so glad as long as I live I'm in his hand can I get some Holy Ghost chill little because I'm there on a hill called Calvary Jesus they put nails in his hand and nails in his feet they put him in a dusty grave and early Sunday morning he got up, took off a dying trial, stepped up on resurrected ground, and said, Ah, oh, power. Question is, there's so many hurting people. There's so many hurting people all over this world. But God reminds us that He has never, ever forgotten us. I'm going to stand there invitation discipleship and you ought to come today if you never ever accepted Christ as your personal savior you can't answer this question if I die today where would I spend eternity if you can't answer that question 
just tell the Lord Jesus Christ to come into your life forgive me for every sin that I've done I believe that Christ died buried and rose again and on the finishing work of Jesus Christ I believe because I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart thou shalt be saved and you have done that write us let us know we'd be more than happy for you to be a part of the family that we're in and what I want to do today we're going to have a special prayer altar prayer wherever you are in your home in your car wherever you are and if you know somebody that is going through this this virus if you know somebody have lost a loved one COVID-19 let's pray much for our children that are in school our local and national officials pray much for them I want you to call that person name today call them out and call them out before God as we bow our heads in prayer I'm going to ask Pastor Pastor Manning to lead us in prayer If you would, bow your heads with me. Let your mind be stayed on Jesus. Forget about what's going on, but know that Jesus is soon to come. If I heard him when he told Luke to write that men ought to always pray he said in your praying don't think don't don't give up on your prayer and then one writer wrote that we should not be selfish that we ought to pray one for another if there ever was a time that we stood in the need of prayer that time is right now for I heard Jesus disciples asking him Lord teach us how to pray he said our father there is no doubt in our mind this morning that you still reside in heaven and that you're looking down upon us yet again today for we realize, we realize that you see everything. And as we come now, we know you see us in our situation. And for that cause, this morning, we want to ask you to have mercy. But before we, before we venture any further in this prayer, we want to thank you, oh God, for our last night's rest. Thank you for an eye open early this morning. Thank you, oh Lord, for when my eyes come open, I still had a God mind. A mind to tell you, Lord, thank you, sir. For I realize, oh Lord, that I had been kept and then I realized that I could not keep myself mm -hmm. but oh Lord we call on your name this morning 
standing yet again in the need of your divine blessing. We're living in a time of pandemic, but please bless us, oh God, to praise your name. Fear, Lord, is all over the land, but hold us in our faith. Meanness is everywhere, but oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, bless us, oh God, to be merciful today. So much hate all over the land, but please let your love abide. And now, Lord, before I close my prayer, please, please bless the land today. Bless the preachers today. Bless the churches today. Special prayer today for my pastor, Lord. Hold him. Guide him, strengthen him, talk with him, walk with him, bless him in your name, oh God. And then God, lay your hands on tabernacle, if you would today, abide with us. Bless us, oh God. And then we realize that uh, the world is not our home. But thank you, Lord, for Jesus. For he made it possible that we'd have somewhere to lay our heads when we come to die. Mm -hmm. When it's over, thank you, Lord. When it's all over, Thank you, Lord. Uh, when I close my hymn book, uh, when I close uh, my Bible, uh, when I done walked in uh, for the very last time, uh, thank you. Thank you, Lord. When I ease down to the chilly journey, I want to hear your voice said, stand still, Jordan, let a child of mine come cross. We thank you, sir. Not in Walker's name. We thank you. Not in Manning's name. But oh, in the name of Jesus, we declare your glory. Thanking thee right now henceforth and forevermore if you love the lord help me say amen amen, amen. If you have been blessed by our service today and would like to give, we have four options available for you to do so. You may mail your tithes and offering to P.O. Box 5982, Tallahassee, Florida 32314. Cash app using name, dollar sign, TNBC deposit, and be sure to include the purpose on the four line. Go to www.tnbconline.com and select give to give your tithes, offering, or donation. There is also a donation box located outside of the chapel in front of the church. Thank you for your gifts, and we pray they return to you 100-fold. Now back to our broadcast. Oh, Lord, I need you to help me. Help me run this way. Say, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, I need you to help me. I need you to help me run this race. 
to keep us from falling and present us faultless at the throne of his grace to the exceeding wise God whose joy, power, rest, rule, and abide in each and every one of us his now and forevermore let the church say amen amen and amen again help me Lord help me Lord I see joy I can see my way. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. It gets hard sometimes. Help me, Lord. I can see my way. Help me, Lord. 